The United Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners of North America Apprenticeship and Training Fund presents Basic Skills, a pre-apprenticeship training program, measurement and layout skills. This basic skills module introduces the pre-apprentice to measurement and layout skills. Upon completion of this module, the trainee will be able to use the tape measure, folding rule, framing square, and combination square to lay out accurate measurements in the construction trade. In addition, the trainee will be able to use measurements to determine length, area, and volume of various shapes. Let's learn about the tape measure. The tape measure is a very versatile tool. It has four main parts. The case, the lock, the blade, and the hook. When using the tape, extend and close the blade slowly. This will prevent cuts and keeps the blade in good condition. Tape measures use two standard systems of measure. English in feet and inches or metric in meters, centimeters, and millimeters. In English measure, one foot equals 12 inches. Each inch is broken down further into fractions of an inch. The mark for one half inch is located half the distance between the inch marks and is the longer mark. The quarter inch marks are located midway between the half inch marks. The eighth inch marks divide the quarter inch marks. The smallest marks are the sixteenth inch marks, which are half the eighth inch distance. See the difference in measuring one foot or twelve inches and the corresponding metric number of 30.5 centimeters or 305 millimeters. Some tapes show both systems of measure. These are called dual tape measures. The metric system is based on the meter. The meter consists of 1,000 millimeters. Use the kilometer and meter for long surveying distances. Use the meter and millimeter for building design and construction. Use the millimeter for precise measurements. Avoid use of the centimeter. To convert metric in English, always use 25.4 millimeters to one inch. This conversion is important to remember. You can make measurements in either system. Using a tape measure, you can make outside and inside measurements. When measuring an outside length of a board, place the hook of the tape over the edge of the board. Pull the tape until the blade extends over the opposite edge. Carefully look at the exact distance or mark on the tape. The marks vary in length depending on the fraction being measured. Notice the lines indicating one-half, one-fourth, one-eighth, and one-sixteenth. Mark the length on the board by placing the pencil at the exact location and making a short perpendicular line. Then draw another line to the waist side of the board. Using the tape measure, you can make inside measurements in two ways. The first method uses the case as a part of the measurement. Place the case against one side and extend the blade to the opposite side. Read the scale at the opening of the case. Add the length of the case to the distance shown on the blade. Therefore, if the length shows nine and one-fourth inches on the blade, you must add two and five-eighths inches. This totals eleven and seven-eighths inches. The overall length is the length of the extended blade plus the length of the case. The second method simply involves bending the tape in the corner and reading the curvature of the blade to determine the measurement. This results in the same 11 7 8 inch distance. Stop the videotape now and measure the various lengths shown in the workbook, Section 1, Measuring.